this brush right here, no ma'am. No, 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 no. All right, guys. Hi, thanks for clicking on the video today. My name is Maria, and I'm back with another video. Y'all, today I want to come on and just share with you guys my experience with the Solo Eyeshadow Matte Eye Color from Merit Beauty. Um, now, if you're not familiar with Merit Beauty, they are a... Um, a clean, vegan, cruelty-free, minimalist makeup brand. They're also considered to be a luxury brand, and their focus is on um, creating products that are safe for the body, the skin, and the planet. Now, according to their website, um, I just thought this was really cute. It says, Mary is the antidote to the overwhelming world of beauty. We simplify what it takes to get ready by creating well-edited essentials that help you do more with less. So this solo eyeshadow is the antidote to the 10 pan eyeshadow palette. So this is the anti eyeshadow palette. So this is the packaging that the eyeshadow comes in. I only have one um, of these. And this is what it looks like. It's just a cute little a cute little container um, packaging. It kind of puts me in the mind of the e.l.f. No Budge Cream Eyeshadow or even the MAC Paint Pot. So it kind of puts me in the mind of those products. I have been knowing of them for a while, but this is the first product that I've actually been interested in trying out from them. A little bit more back story on Merit Beauty. They came on the scene um, January 2021. Seems like 2021 was the year of the new makeup brands, but they came on the scene January 2020, 2021. But when they came on the scene, according to Forbes magazine, they wanted to kind of bring forth the whole five minute makeup look. So when they launched, they only had seven minimalist items so i'm going to just tell you what those seven items were so when they came on the seven items they had was the complexion stick this is a foundation like a stick foundation and it also serves as a concealer um, they had the day glow highlighter a flush balm cheek color which is a creamy um a cream blush they also had the clean lash mascara a volumizing brow pomade, a shade slick, what they would call shade slick lip oils, and a blending brush, the number one blending brush. That's their first blush, uh, brush. <laughs> and uh, since then, since, you know, they launched, they have created or added some other products. They also, you know, came out with the new Solo Shadows and a number two blending brush. So this is their first eyeshadow in their minimalist makeup lineup i have the shade i have the shade social so that's social and this is not a first impression i've been using this i've used this twice already and this is what the color looks like so it's described as being a soft mauve now, y'all, that's a word that is not in my vocabulary, mauve. It just sounds so blue. But actually, this color, once you wear it, it comes off as more of a lilac color to me. But, um, yeah, so um, these solo shadows come in eight shades. So it's going to give you four neutral brown shades and then four statement shades. They're not making bold statements, but they are statement shades. They have a really pretty navy blue. Um, they have this pretty dark green. Um, they have a gray color that I feel like could have, you know, been like a minimalist smoky eye. And then they have uh, the social, the soft mauve. So those are the shades. I have soft mauve. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and I'm going to, put the rest of my face on and then we're going to come back and I'll start applying this to show you. I want to show you how it applies, how it wears and if it's worth it. 
All right, guys, so I am back. I went ahead and just put on my foundation, my powder. Um, this is not a minimalist look. time. I'm trying to do this face before I go out for lunch. So, um, so this is a container. Uh, this is the product. So, also, I did purchase the brush that comes along with, well, it does not come along. It's sold separately. So, I did purchase the brush. This is a little minimalist brush. It has a fluffy side here. This is the blending side. And then it has a more precise uh, side if you wanted to do, you know, something around the waterline. Um, so, I have been using this, and I feel like you can see that it's not as clean. It's not it. My, my camera would not focus, but it's not as clean as it was when you first when I first purchased it. Uh, but I have been using it. But I want to just show you. You can use this with the brush, or you can use it with your hand. So I just want to show you what it looks like when you use it with. So just want to show you what it looks like if you're going to be using your hands. I personally prefer the hand, but you go into it. It's very creamy. It feels almost like butter that's getting ready to melt or it just started melting and let's see i want to just show you how that goes on so that is the color social and you have to work really fast because it will dry down very easily and that's how it blend it out. Okay, I hope you can see that. So a very light muted color. Um, with the finger it blends out very well. I'm not going to show you, I'm going to show you what it looks like with the brush, but I'm going to do that on the eye because this brush loses its energy very quickly. Um, and we'll talk about that later. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So I've been using the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer. This is the this is the um, Age Delay eyeshadow primer potion, and I'm just gonna put just a little bit of that on my eyelid and just blend it out with my fingers. I've been using this, but I typically use it on the naked eye. And I'm just trying today to see how this works on top of my concealer and powder. I don't think it's gonna work very well, but we'll see. So I'm gonna grab, use the brush and just go around in here and pick up a little bit of product. You can see how much I picked up. And I'm gonna start just applying this to the eyelid just on the eyelid. Yeah, this dries down very quickly. It's already dried down. And once it dries down, it will not move. And if you keep trying to build it up, even though it says it is buildable, um, it just gets really, I don't know, spotty. So I'm just going to stop here because we do have the product on the eyelid. And what I'm going to do is take the 
smaller side, I'm going to try to do my under eye. All right, guys, so I'm back for my lunch. It's about almost three hours later. I didn't go on a three hour lunch break, but I got back home. I relaxed. I did some work, whatever. But I'm just looking in the mirror and <laughs> I see creasing. Um, the eyeshadow did crease, but I'm okay with that. So let's go just go ahead and talk about it because I don't want to be, you know, all day long. Because my thoughts are kind of all over the place with this one. Um, like I said, this is not a first impression. I uh, This is my third time wearing this eyeshadow. My first time wearing it, um, I was a little bit disappointed, but I wanted to give it another try. It definitely is. Now, I am not a makeup minimalist by no means. I have a lot of makeup on my face right now. I have on a foundation. I have on a separate concealer. I have on two different powders. Okay, I have on lipstick, I have on mascara, eyeliner, I have on some highlighter. Um, so I do have a lot of stuff on my face. If but you're a makeup minimalist, then you, you're going to appreciate this. You're going to appreciate it because of the ingredients. You're going to appreciate it because of the packaging. Now, this is supposed to be a luxury product, but the packaging feels very light and very cheap to me. But, um, but you do have the gold top, so that gold top is supposed to be, I guess, given luxury. I do like the fact that the top kind of locks into place. You can feel it lock into place. So that way it will keep the product on the inside moist, I guess you say moist or emollient, you know, so it's ready for the next use. I did leave the top off of it. I think the first day I got it, I accidentally forgot and left the top off and it dried up. But once I put the top back on the next day, I just kind of swirled it, swirled it around a little bit and I, I got that cream in its back. I do appreciate this product. Okay, I'm going to say that. I do appreciate it for the skincare ingredients. I do appreciate it for the recyclable packaging. Um, I do appreciate it for the what it's intended for. Just to be a one and done eyeshadow. I'm going to tell you what <laughs> I don't like about it. So what I don't like about this, I don't know if you noticed when I started to apply um, the product to my eyes, it's just, it's not, you can't sw swipe it on. To me, it, it works out better, applies better when you just kind of stipple it with the brush. Or now if you use your fingers, you definitely can swipe it. And it goes on very smooth and evenly when you use your fingers. fingers. You need something that is substantial and heavy to move this eyeshadow across your eyelid. Because this little brush is not going to do it. This is not, look at this thing. It is so damaged and worn out just from the one single use today. It looks like it has been through hell. So this has to be washed and, dr and let dry again before you can use it. This little brush is not strong enough to move a stiff cream across your eyelids. They should have paired this with a flat eyeshadow brush. That's what they should have, because this thing is not gonna work. And this was $20, no. Um, I will try to use this with my powder eyeshadows, but this is not moving. It's not, it's not going to move this. This is, mm -mm, it's not going to work. Easy to blend claims. It's not only if it's easy to blend if you're using your fingers. The no creasing, as you can see, I do have creasing. So I, I have my eyes closed. I don't know what you guys are seeing, but I looked in the mirror and there is creasing. Now, my eye, my eyelids always crease. <laughs> um, I did use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I have used this each time that I've worn this eyeshadow. So I used it the first time. I used it on my naked eye and I put the eyeshadow on top of it. The second time I did the same thing. I put the eyeshadow primer on. 
Then I went in with the eyeshadow. I still got creasing. So today I did the whole, you know, um, concealer powder. And then I went on top of that with the primer and I still got creasing. Now the thing about it is the creasing is there, but it's not that big of a deal for me because I guess I have hooded eyes. So when I open my eye, the only thing you can really see is what's up here. And up here is still in place. It's that it does stay on all day. So one of the claims is that, you know, this eyeshadow is long wearing. So it does stay on all day. $24. $24 can be a lot. I know a lot of people say, well, for $24, you can go buy a whole palette. Yeah, you can go ahead and buy a whole palette, but if you don't want a whole palette, you just want the one shadow, then to me, as a person who uses one shadows, I do the whole one and done. I see a color I like. I'm going to buy that particular color. I don't really care about a palette um, because I'm going to use that color. I can go and buy a palette, but not use all the colors in the palette. Now, to me, I feel like that's a waste of money. But some people, I read some, some of the reviews, and some people have purchased two and three of these. I'm not doing two and three. Uh, because of the price point, it made me hone in on and be more intentional about which color I was going to select because that's the color that I'm going to be wearing doing the solo with. Me and this social, we rocking together <laughs> all season um, because it gave me an opportunity to bring out my favorite lipstick, which is the MAC Heroin. I used to keep this in my purse all the time. I had not reached for it in so long, but once I put this on and I kind of saw that, oh, this is like a soft, it looks like a soft lilac. I said, you know what? My, my I can't talk y'all. My MAC Heroin will look so pretty with this so that's why i you know put this combo together and i'm really happy about that so sometimes you just have to be intentional about what you're buying and the reason you're buying so that's it so the the blendability i don't think that's there um the creasing i think if you have mature eyelids or you just have lines or wrinkles in your eyelids it's gonna crease I don't think there's anything you can do primer no primer i think it's still gonna crease but it does stay in place for the rest of the eye <laughs> i mean it stays in place so i wanted to point out when you do wash this off um it is kind of hard to get off now i use my pons cold cream to take off my eye makeup um if i just use like a cleansing oil it's not going to work. You're going to need something a little bit stronger. So, but that Pond's cold cream would definitely get the um, shadow off your eyelids. So that's one thing to know. Um, the lady that was wearing the blue eyeshadow, y'all, this is what made me want to purchase this product. Her skin, co skin color the complexion is so dark, so deep, so beautiful. And then with that navy blue, y'all know I love a good blue eyeshadow. And that's what I went to get. When I clicked on the Merit website, I said, I'm getting that blue. But it was sold out. I went to Sephora. Sephora had it. I said, but you know what, Maria? You have so many blue eyeshadows. Why don't you do something different? I said, okay. I get it. I'll do something different. So I was going to get the green. The green was sold out. They had that Nelson. Because I'm just looking at the statement colors. I don't need the neutrals because I just got my Patrick Ta uh, palette. Okay. <laughs> so I just wanted one of the statement colors. So um, I just settled on the shade Social because I don't have a pink mauve type of eyeshadow in my collection. So I just thought this would be perfect. And it is perfect, y'all. I do. I love this color on my eyes. As you can see, it's very soft. It's very clean. Um, it actually made my eyes pop more because, I don't know, because the eyeshadow was so subtle. It was there. You could see it. But it was very subtle. It gave my eyelashes a chance to pop. And I was like, oh, okay. I see you. I see you. And I felt it felt good on my skin. I felt good looking at myself as I was out. I just don't like that it's hard to blend. I do not like the brush at all. And um, I'm okay with the creasing because I just feel like it's more me than the product. So I'm not going to speak too bad about that. That's it.
I think that's it guys. So go ahead, you know, leave a comment down below, down below and let me know what you think about the video. Are you a makeup minimalist? Um, would you consider becoming a makeup minimalist to be a little bit more responsible with the environment and just, you know, be a little bit more responsible for yourself when it comes to the ingredients, you know, that we put inside of our bodies, what we put on top of our bodies. Um, let me know your thoughts on the minimalist makeup um, topic. And yeah, I, I, you know, love to have a, a conversation about it. Uh, what else? So that's it. I feel like I've been rambling on and on and on. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on your way out if you have not done so and come back and I'll see you in the next video.